having a chance to uh, work for theatre uh, for many years and um, having a chance to, to see many theatre performances, uh, I was starting to wonder uh, what is uh, the best type of performance, public appearance, I would like to uh, go with, stick with and see on and on. And then I um, had to ask myself what I like and what I dislike in public appearances and found a um, little discovery, a discovery which helped me to organize uh, myself uh, when it comes to um, public um, situations. The discovery of saying uh, that there are no monologues, uh, you are sentenced to a constant dialogue ready or not, happy or not, uh, there is a dialogue uh, which we may um, take as a great opportunity to, uh, to consider. Um, many um, artists, um, public speakers, uh, they believe that uh, monologue is a form which uh, may help you to introduce your concept as a powerful uh, leader. Uh, well, I don't believe uh, in that. I think that much more interesting, intriguing might be a form of, of dialogue. When you're preparing yourself for a class, for, for theater, for, for other uh, appearances, um, it might be interesting to consider um, uh, what is uh, what I'm bringing, what I would like to bring. Uh, what exactly is the, uh, the topic. So it's much um, effective to be concentrated uh, not on form, certain form first, but on uh, uh, issue, on, on the topic. If, for example, I know my topic well, I know what I want from my audience, I'm prepared for, for dialogue. I'm prepared for dialogue and I'm open to uh, have an open communication with my interlocutors. So I'm not in a hermetic form, but I'm uh, in engaging open uh, form. Then uh, if I'm ready for dialogue, I should know what I want from my audience. Usually we can find uh, an answer uh, from three um, areas. Uh, for example, we may like people think about something, feel about something, or do something. Uh, if I know that I want my interlocutor to think about what I'm saying, uh, my attitudes, uh, voice, uh, gestures, uh, behavior would be uh, well organized to um, convey my interlocutor to uh, move his or her brain and stick with my concept. Uh, then my speech will be, will be different. The melody of my speech will be different. If I'd like my interlocutor to feel something, same words will be composed and presented a um, different way. And again, if I want my interlocutor to do something, my interpretation will be different. Um, little example, uh, let's think uh, about uh, to be or not to be, that is the question from um, Shakespeare. Uh, if I want uh, you to think about what I'm saying, I will make sure that my interpretation will be differently organized, then I will say to be or not. That is the question. So I'm organized um, specifically just to let you think uh, about what I'm talking about uh, for, for a moment. If I want you to feel something, same words will be composed differently. Uh, I will try to send my emotional aspects as uh, most important. And then I will emphasize emotions as um, uh, these you should concentrate on same words. Um, 
I'm emotionally attached and emotionally uh, uh, moved. And if I would like you to, to do something about it, my interpretation would be, would be different. Um, what are these uh, differences? According to uh, body language uh, studies, uh, we may uh, consider three parts of our body and we may push these uh, three parts um, to let our um, interlocutor stick with a uh, certain uh, form. If you would like your audience to think about something, push your head forward, then all what you are talking about will be very thoughtful and very sort of intellectual. Like that. If you want uh, your interlocutor to feel something, you may push your chest forward then all what you are talking about is emotional, is energetic. If you want your interlocutor to, to do something, you need to activate your hips, move around and be um, very physically uh, involved. Generally speaking, that may help you uh, in terms of um, staying in effective dialogue. When I was preparing myself um, briefly to meet you today. I was asking myself what I want from you. Well, my intention was to let you think about my concept for a moment. That's why I'm pushing my head so much forward.